I would like you to do one thing for me, just to bump up the subscribers. You gotta go again, man. Yeah, just do it. Just my chip is finishing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want it. Um, are we good to go? Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Bun P. Now, with no further delay, I wanted us to get into it. Today, we are having a very special guest in the studio. We're going to be graced with a multi talented young lady. She stretches from artist management, event organizing, but when it comes to event organizing, I'm talking about kick ass parties, exclusive parties where you find only the best of the best attending. You understand what I'm saying? And apart from that, she's also a movie producer, film production. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about the one and only Julia Boss Lady Kadigwa. Your yeah boy, your yeah boy, your yeah boy. What's up, my people? We finally back. And guess who's in the studio right now? The one and only Boss Lady, Miss Julia, in the house, mood in the hood. Miss Julia, what's up? What's up? How are you doing, my lady? I'm good. How are you? How 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 is the mood in the hood today? Right? It feels good to be in the hood. Yeah. I was so scared at first coming here, but I'm like, yeah. You liking the vibes? I'm liking the vibes. That's wonderful. Uh, from mood in the hood and everybody from production would like to say thank you for coming out here and making time for us. We appreciate you being here. Now we didn't want to take long. We wanted to keep this short and simple, so we wanted to get in a segment what we call the insights. Now, Miss Julia, the insights are very basic. Uh, basically, what we are going to be asking for is. Um, it's your personal uh, details. We just want the fans out there just for you out there to just know a little bit about Miss Julia. Don't you also want to know about Miss Julia? So that's what we're going to be doing today. Sure. So, sweet and short, we want to know what is Miss Julia's real name? Like, is that the full name? Is, is there something touched? Or what is the real name? My full name is Julia Tapewa Kadikwa. So I'm typically the typical one. Typical. Like, yeah. 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 Julia is a Bambu name. Tapewa, and the same name just sells it all. The stadium says it all. True that. Julia Kadipa, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Julia, I want you to know, okay? you know when you come in classrooms, yeah. every classroom has like a department of its own. It's like a, a young ministry on its own. Yeah. I wanted to know when it comes to you, um, you know, there's always like people in the class. You find the bad boys yeah. or the bad girls at the back of the class. You find the nerds who just don't want any of the nonsense and just want to focus on the books. You find the troublemakers. Where was Julia? In the class, where would we find you? Okay, most times I'm always, always fine. I'm full of charisma. Even if I take myself to the back, the teachers like me so much that they want to put me next to them. I'm yeah. always on the front row, even yeah. if I didn't like it. So you're always so a girl on the spot. I was not a girl though, but with an A student. At the same time, I was an A student, yeah. so. So you, you, I you, you, the were, you, were, you, were, you were one of those that got the rest of the class to fail whereby you would be like making noise when everybody is supposed to be listening and then at the end of the day you come back with nail tests like all the time hundred percent or hundred percent I see you Julia I see you I see you okay I want you to know um as a person now huh? what vibes turn you off like what just what just what just kills your vibe like? my vibe yeah. Um, I'm a spiritual person, so basically I'm all about positive vibes. I meditate a lot, I believe in positivity. So what kills me off is somebody with negativity, because I dream so big. Like my dreams are so scary, so what kills my vibe is somebody that doesn't believe in their own dreams and they think my dreams can't make it because they don't believe in their own dreams. So that's bad energy. Bad, yeah, that energy. bad energy stay far away. Yeah. Boss lady is not about that life. You understand? Yeah. Okay, um, moving on, Miss Julia. I wanted to know, right? Um, in the family tree, in the chain of siblings, yeah. you're joking. Uh, where, where, where do you find yourself in that chain? Like, which position do you go for? And how many siblings are you in total? Yeah. How does that family tree Okay, work? you know, being African, of course, yeah. <laughs> on my mother's side, we always have my mother's side, father's side. Yeah. On my mother's side, we are only three, and I'm the first born on both. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, and I'm the first great daughter in my mother's side, okay. the first grandchild. So, I really left it a lot of responsibilities. So, so, so you're like that, that one person in the family who's supposed to hold things together. For the young ones. Be, 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 be a role model to the young yeah. ones and you know, show them the way. To my cousins, my younger brothers, everybody's younger. The, the new generation, I'm the oldest. Yeah. And to say, in my family. There we go. That's Miss Julia for you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I wanted to know, 
We all know there's a crush out there for Miss Julia, right? I know you watching this. I know you watching this, and this question will be relevant for you. So, Miss Julia, I want you to know, right? For your crush watching out there, we, 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 you, you, you don't shed much on your love life. So here at Moon in the Hood, we want to put you on the spot. We want to know what's going on in that department, like what's cooking in that department. Is uh, are we allowed to? To, to, to like as a crush to like highlight Miss Julia, is Miss Julia <laughs> off the table? What's going on in that department? Oh, okay. uh -huh. if you like it, you should put a ring on it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm for grabs, yo. I'm for grabs. <laughs> so basically, my career, yeah. <laughs> it intimidates a lot of me, guys. They don't want to put a ring on it. Yeah. They want me to be a housewife, eight to yeah. five job. Because I'm only sound imagine imagine you my boyfriend. I'm out here in Dubai with Sterling right here, what will be going through your mind, baby. Yeah. Oh so, like I would, I would be at home just <laughs> I can't even, I don't even know which butt cheek to use to sit on that chair, but I would be an easy, it will not be an easy situation. Yeah, so I'm still waiting for someone to be my soulmate, as I say, someone who will understand this is my career, this is my life. Yeah. It's kind of in intimidating. But do, do, do you feel like that, um, for you being single right now, do you feel like that you being associated with uh, people who are in the age class, like uh, a normal Joe like me, just to approach you, feel like that? Maybe she won't even like second guess you. She won't even talk back to me. Do you feel like that's one of the things why Miss Julia is single? Or? No, I'm single. Uh, don't don't get I have a lot of admirers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But my career, as I said, yeah. it doesn't allow me to commit. Even if ah. I want to commit, I can't stay in one place. So you can't I'm traveling already yet. tomorrow to Nigeria. Ah. So Just, so also commitments and all those. Yeah, other and my career. Are, if I, traveling is not an excuse, it's my career specific that's yeah. intimidating, it's the surrounding, everybody knows. Well, when you talk entertainment, they only imagine craziness. Yeah. So nobody wants, I get my point, I get everybody point. is busy, I get but if it's an 8 to 5, then okay, yeah. by 8 o'clock, my wife is at home now, my girlfriend is at home, yeah. but my career, I'm supposed to be up until the sunrise. And you had it right here in Mood in the Hood, you better be able to squeeze yourself in that busy schedule of boss lady, otherwise, not gonna happen. Yeah, well, we back again, ladies and gentlemen. You already know it's mood in the hood. Today we have our guest, our special, oh so lovely. And I must say, you're looking lovely. I don't know if I mentioned that, my lady. You're looking lovely today. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So, Miss Julia Boss Lady is in studio with us today. Now, Julia, thank you for still being out here with us. Highly appreciate it. Now we have been talking. We, I think our questions became a bit too serious. Yeah. I want us to just ease it up. Sure. We're in the hood, man. We're supposed to be yeah. chill. You understand? Yeah. Not so serious and whatnot. So this one is called Pick Aside. Uh, fun activity. Basically, what I do, I throw out random words, uh, and from the two, you just pick your preference. You understand? Very simple. And uh, I'll just keep throwing them out, and you just keep telling me your preferences. We go. Sounds good? Okay. Let's get it. Uh, short or talk. So, old school or new school? New school. Shower oh. gel. You <laughs> can't big boy. You only have to take one, so let's try and fight with one. New school. New school? Okay, love. I like it the old school. <laughs> so you're, you're, you're caught up in the middle. Yeah. Although we'll let you take both. You can see you can't make up your mind on that one. Shower gel or body soap? Oh, shower gel. Bath, shower, yeah. body. <laughs> you're in the bathtub. Uh -huh. Cash or check? You're guaranteed you really have a check, what if it bounce me, what if it <laughs> Yeah, all sorts of banking problems. Yeah, I like it cash. Diamond or gold? Of course, diamond, who school choose gold? Diamond, right? Like, is that even optional? <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know, but I don't know. Gold in a good sum can also sum up to something. Diamond. You understand? Okay. Quality over quantity. Okay, moving on. Chicken or beef? That's what you know. Chicken. 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 Yeah, it's right here. So we're going to go for chicken? Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, beer or cider? Nah. Nah. No alcohol. Don't come buying your drink now. Mood in the hole, we just told you. Okay, science or tradition? <laughs> it depends. Yeah, it depends? Yeah. But what it is? Yes. But like, as I shout them out, what problem? Or oh, it has to be attached to a scenario? Yeah, of course. Okay. Uh, let's move to the next one. Soda or juice? Since you're, you're all about sober habits, juice, yeah? Healthy, healthy. Who wants guys in their body? <laughs> I like it, I like it. Okay, moving on, Julia. Uh, Christian or atheist? Christian. 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 Yeah. Christian. 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 Christian.
this story? The Lord, ah, sheep or plane in terms of traveling, like how would you like to be called? Plane. 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 Okay, shoes, wedges or heels? Wedges, comfortability. Comfortability. <laughs> Right here, I'm going to go to ladies and gentlemen. It's your lady, boss lady, Julia. The segment was Pick a Star. Stay tuned. Coming back right now. Get what? Get what? Mood in the Hood is the name of the show you already know. We're still in studio with the oh so lovely Julia, boss lady. Now, Miss Julia, you still good? I'm super. I'm like, this chips is going down. The chips is going down. We, 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 we threw and we sprinkled like extra love in there just for you. So it should be delicious and tasty. It is. Okay, uh, Miss Julia, we're going to move on with our program. Sure. We're going to move on to what is called the Art In. Now, the Art In, as you know, is a department where we search for more details into Julia's uh, entertainment segment. Now, we're going to focus on what you actually do. What, uh, what Julia is all about and you want us to like get a feel of your business ventures and whatnot. You understand? Yeah. You're with me. So, Miss Julia, the art in it. First question. Olive Ah, uh, that is your baby, established in uh, 2016. Yeah. Uh, please shed some light on it. What is Olive Entertainment? What is it all about? Olive Entertainment. How we came up with the name was uh, first and foremost, the industry chose me. I was, I was, my dream was to have an 8 to 5, follow my parents, get a yeah. degree, go to school. Along the way, destiny always has its own. So I needed to come up with a name, Olive Entertainment. Like I needed to come up with a name for my company. So I needed something green because I'm like a green pasture. I believe in not taking from where it's dry to where it's green and what you are doing. You know, you know, so pastures. I was seated with Lady May at the time. Yeah. We we're eating salad, green salad. Yeah. And she's like, Hey Paul, because it's green, we're trying to think of a name that's green. For the first time, leave, leave entertainment, no. We try to look for that, something but that's something green. Attached to like green. if you say orange, you know it's orange, you know it's an orange, for example. So we were, then she's like, apple, no. Then green salad, green salad entertainment. Imagine green salad entertainment. I was like, it also has a thing attached to it. Yes, and then we were eating, and then you're like, wait a minute, we saw the olives. The in salad. the dish, yes, that's, that's on how, the table. That's how the name came about. Imagine yeah. that, man. The olive birth of Olive Entertainment was in a dish. Was in a dish, right there. Ah, you see, you see, that's beautiful stuff. Now, um, I also wanted to find out something, uh, because I've also been doing my research, yeah. instead, and I uh, stumbled across, um, uh, something where you were talking about uh, a movie. Yeah. Uh, Miss Boss Lady was working on a movie. Yeah. Uh, you were a producer, yeah. uh, as well. Now, I want to know about uh, that movie that we are working on. How, how far is that going? Like, uh, are, we, are we able to get more details, like the main actors in it? Are the details still being held back from us? Sure. What's going on in that producer um, department? Well, as I say, the industry, or as she says, I knew Mike is already like for a long time. And then along the way, I, I suggested, hey, don't you want to shoot in Namibia? It's supposed to be his movie. Like, yeah. Don't you want to shoot in Namibia? Like the scenarios, this, we have this, we have that, it's not exposed yet. And then along the way, we started working. Next thing, I'm part of the movie. Next thing, it's a Namibian movie. Next thing, I'm the executive producer. I'm like, wow. So I, I thought a movie is like working with an artist. We shoot the music video, in, you prepare music video in two weeks, the music video is out the next day. A movie takes up to like a good three year planning. Three year planning doesn't mean you wait for three years. It's not a walk in the it's park. A, it's eh? not a walk in the park. It's you not have a walk to see the posters, the script writing, yeah. the whole team. Like, the whole getting the people who are just supposed to walk by in the street and for no reason. Get fans, get so, so far. We, let's say we we'll might shoot next year. But so okay, far but, we have done a lot. But now, in terms of percentage, like, uh, where would you place the project? Like, how is it? The movie. So far, I think we have covered forty percent. Forty percent. Yeah. So we only have sixty percent. We are only at the point of waiting for that. Basically. You know. And then the sixty percent is coming your way. What about the name of the movie? Did we get that yet? No, or not yet. That's also still in the pipeline. Yeah. That will be revealed later. Very soon. We just have to wait, just like me and you. I'm not also getting any exclusives out here. We are on the same boat. So patience is key. Patience is key. Now, Miss Bosley. Yeah. Let's talk about. Be lighter. Well, I know you. Like I, I have this thing where I try my best. Whenever, whenever you're throwing it, man, I try to show up. You know, because I know for a fact that like, you throw like a party to be reckoned. You 
know, like if it's a party, it's exclusive, uh, and and everybody that means something in the industry is there. Like, um, tell me about V Life stuff. Yeah. Tell me about how that whole process is of events and how the journey is. Yeah. Tell me more about that. How how does that go? So basically, V Life Sun was founded in 2016 as well. Uh huh. Um, Along the way, being in the industry for a long time, people will say, so you, you find a certain diehard fan, they don't want to go to the show, they don't care about it. They just want to capture a memory and be seen with their stars. Yeah. So some people go out of their way, knowing I'm part of the, of the crew, yeah. they would go out of their way to pay me something, as yeah. guaranteed, please make sure I take a picture. Yeah. I'm like, wow, people want to pay just yeah. to capture yeah. a memory. Yeah. Then I was, that's when I was like, let me come up with something. A business woman. Yeah, so like, exactly. Let me come up with a something. Bulb went on like. Yeah. Let me come up with something like that. Money to be made. Yeah. Where yeah. I bring this stand, not uh -huh. to do anything, uh -huh. to come take a picture. That's how V Lifestyle came about. So V stands for VIP. It said yes. Uh -huh. And also the other thing is, if you go through my company social media. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing party with the bunch people that were never in the yeah, that's, that's definitely and true. And people always wonder and feel like, wow, I like your lifestyle. Yeah. That's where the lifestyle came from. Uh -huh. always, this girl always parties with celebrities. How does yeah. she do it? Yeah. So yeah. I wanted to, ex to bring the same experience yeah. outside at home. Yeah. So lately, yes, people. Also, our local, our people local people to experience, experience my being, lifestyle. You know? Which is called that is so life. thoughtful of you. And I know you've been, you've been working with some very powerful people out there yeah. from the likes of. Uh, Nasty C, Davido, uh, Casper, New Vest, and uh, the football player, the same as well. Uh, what's his Raheem name? Raheem Sterling. Ah, you see? <laughs> this is the girl to be around, man. Like, I I'm going to start following you around. Just, just there asking for signatures in the background. You understand? Yeah. Ah, that's wonderful stuff. That's wonderful stuff. Um, on top of that, Mr. Spiller, yeah. boss lady, um, you were on a set. But uh, this was not uh, in the V Lifestyle Department. Yeah. This was actually from the Olive Entertainment Department. Of course. Olive Entertainment Department, from my understanding, you guys were in search of a presenter. Yes. Uh, how is that going? How is that search going? Have we finally got a winner? Uh, is it out to announce? How is that going? Yeah, we made it. We finally, yes, yeah. finally got the presenter. So, how is the process? Like, what exactly were you doing? I didn't reveal her you? yet because I wanted to reveal in a specific way but I think you can have that exclusivity for now. Yeah. Because I'm sure by, by then. Yeah. Um her name is Lydia October and yeah she's very good. She's very young, driven, ambitious. I really I see so much of a boy in her yeah, and yeah, I, she's yeah. Boy Only mood in the hood exclusives exclusives now we know who the presenter is. What did you say her name was again? Lydia October. Lydia October. Congratulations to you girl if you're out here and you're watching Congratulations, we'll be looking out for you. What, 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 what? Okay, um, moving on, my lady. I want you to know, right? Um, the media and entertainment industry, like, um, it's such a, it's such a, out of many fields to choose from, right? It's out there in the bunch. What uh, inspired you, or what, what, what got you into that specific department, right? How did the entertainment thing? come about like how did you go about it how did you get in in entertainment yes okay one first and foremost i have a lot of charisma right yeah. just like any other young girl uh -huh. who's just dying like any other fan who's just trying to meet their stars yeah. but i have this thing i don't know what it's called but my friends call it juju, juju. i just <laughs> attract celebrities black power. yes that's black power like black power yeah. you know so just like any other fan, we just in the crowd, we yeah. trying to get our way to be recognized by the stars we like. Uh -huh. It keeps going on and on. They always just spot me. They always like I wanna meet that girl. I wanna and I'm like me? Like and my friends always trust me, my friends can confess, they'll tell you. I can even stand a mile away and they will even some celebrities will even send their bounces or something yeah. and be like call that girl yeah. and i'm like i have this thing that just attracts yeah. celebrities yeah. whether i want it or not it's a vibe it's a vibe I so whatever julia to be honest with I, you then i turned it into a business because the yeah. motto that says yeah. your network is your network i decided all in entertainment yeah to be honest that's the truth because when you enter like the production team was all gloomy today but as soon as you walked in all of a sudden i see Y'all are smiling, I see you my niggas, I see you. Everybody's in happy mood. Yeah. So Julia does bring the good vibes. 
all the time. And that is that is that is wonderful, man. That is wonderful. Um, moving on, keeping it still in that department of your work department. I want you to know how 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 you like structure your work ethics. Yeah. How are your work ethics? How do you handle yourself? And and what's your understanding of a person uh, carrying work ethics around them wherever they go? Like, what's your take on work ethics? So the thing is, I said I'm very very spiritual. Like yeah. I'm super spiritual. So what I do. Sorry, and I'm also a very biblical person, yeah. like Christian. Yeah. So this is my secret, right? Like uh -huh. my philosophy. Uh -huh. I believe in when you spend most of the time with God, you spend less time trying to convince man. That's always my secret. <laughs> so I meditate, speak to the universe, speak to God. So yeah. when I walk in there, it's like the door was already like, oh, man, you took oh, so man, long. Oh, so, so that's my more time to God. Yes, yes. less time to men. Trust me, you, yeah. you put less effort trying to convince men yeah. if you have already convinced God. Yeah. That's always my So once you once you make peace with the man upstairs and everything is Trust me. smooth as possible. Trust me. But we gonna spend one minute with God yeah. and spend ten minutes trying to convince him that God here to deal the deal but yeah. that's supposed to be the opposite. Uh, so you gotta you gotta make peace with the man upstairs man. God is love and whatever you do within his line it will obviously come to life. So keep it like that. Spirituality. I like that about you. I like that about you. Okay, um, now before we wrap up this segment, which was the act in it, um, we wanted to know, like, tell us, man, in terms of the lifestyle, like, who can we possibly expect? Because you brought us so many people already. Like, who, who are you going to bring us this time? Like, is there anyone in the first life? Or how <laughs> so, is like? so, V lifestyle is a annual thing. Yeah. Once a year. People are demanding okay. next year, do it like four times a year. Yeah. Like, it's an annual thing because the vision. In the long run, is to grow like Devon July. Is to grow like Sun Met. I want people to look forward to V lifestyle as big as people are looking forward to Devon July yeah. type of vibe. I want to attract even other people. The aim is to be one day the venue to be in the field. That's the dream with a lot of markings, yeah. 500 celebrities yes. Yes. everywhere. Yes. And then my dream on that opening, I love to have none other than that particular person. That's my dream. Watch out for so, that So one. we should we should keep our eyes out for Watch out for the official be opening of V Lifestyle uh -huh. at the level of Devin July. Uh -huh. I'll love to have Nako J as my main guest. Until then we we'll always have the venue Watch at, a, at a small venue at a small venue until we bring that budget. Uh -huh. And we can officially open it at the field. So 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 that's who we can be expecting. Oh, that's, sorry. that's exciting. That's what I had. Real Lifestyle is a networking event. Yeah. This is why it's exclusive, it's luxury, it's not people getting drunk. And this is the time you have always wanted to meet that person, yeah. to talk business. Yeah. So, this yeah, is an opportunity. Why, and that's why you also, can, um, that's why I see you make it an annual thing. Because there is this thing about when something is exhausted, yeah. you also just lose it. It's exactly. Flavor. And uh, with it being an annual thing, it's anticipation, like this thing will come around once in a year, yes. so I better not, better not exactly. you understand? You're and, gonna regret it. And it also, I'm assuming now from, from, from the event planning yeah. side, it helps you to get just your exclusive people to confirm their dates and everything, exactly. make sure everything is in place and everybody knows exactly. you are there. That is good. Please keep bringing us those people. Thank you. Yeah, don't stop, don't stop at all. Yes, it's mood in the hood, but just before you even go, subscribe. Keep chill. Coming back after the flip side. Your yeah, boy. It's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. We just wrapped it up. Yet another episode of Mood in the Hood. Make sure to catch us for the next coming episode. More to come. It's your boy, Bob B, ladies and gentlemen. It was nice having you today. Keep it 100. We out. Your boy.